Good morning, guys. So we are here to do another paycheck. This is for, oh, I didn't even write it down. Okay. This is for September 21st. Okay. So you notice something different here. I had to do it this way because there were only so many boxes here. Now, let me show you what I'm doing with these boxes. As you can tell, I was making some adjustments. I was trying to figure things out. But what I've been doing is I've been tracking my spending in these boxes this way. And I feel like I'm being more accountable for my spending. Instead of waiting to the very end, I'm putting it as soon as the spending is happening. And I'm also putting the spending in the calendar. If we go back to the other months, oops, well, shoot, here we go. I, I'm not, see, I'm not as accountable for, kind of did it there, didn't really do it there. I started to do it here, and then I didn't even follow through, did a lot of highlighting. I did it a little bit here, but I'm trying to find a way to actually motivate me to not only properly track, but work on my spending. And I feel like I'm doing so good on my spending. So it brings us to this paycheck. So let's get started. We're gonna zoom in a little bit. Oops. Normally I use my Simply Gilded pin that was gifted to me, but this time I wanna use this pin. Okay. I don't even know why I bother with the 50 cents anymore because I don't even, again, this is always budgeted. And then this will be actual. And we got, you know, our basic mortgage, internet. I split my Roth IRA payments. If you're new, hi, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I am currently on a journey to get credit card debt free. I've already paid off one of my three credit cards and now we are snowballing or, uh, you know, you can call it a snowball avalanche the way my credit cards were. It fell either way. It didn't matter. So you can call it a snowball. You can call it an avalanche, but either way we're now Rolling all the payments to the chase so we can get the chase paid off. Okay. So, did I leave myself space? Oh, good. I did leave myself space. Do I want to put... So I put that down there. Oh, I forgot to add gas. Oh, shoot. See, I threw myself off. You know what? No, we're going to put my sinking funds on the other side. Even though... Okay, so I go back and forth on whether I want to put sinking funds as part of my bills or expenses or something completely different. Because I put my cap and gown on my bills and expenses, even though technically it's a sinking fund. It's, I, I consider it a bill and expense because I'm trying to pay for cap and gown. Um, sorry, I keep, I keep wanting to... I don't know what to do with this hand today. I, I don't know what's happening here. Okay, so this total, which I need to go through and I need to... I need to do the math on this one. So I need to fix that. Well, that was an unexpected interruption. I don't know where I left off. So we will just wing it. So over here, um, income minus expenses, the difference is $90.50. 
and this is where we'll put money into sinking funds. Now, you're probably thinking, Stephanie, there's more than that. True. Uh, we'll go over that in a second. So emergency funds, we're going to put $40. Savings, we're going to do $50. Now, you're probably thinking, your other, oops, your other income. That I do not use in my actual budget, period. That goes to extra debt payments. Now I gotta look to see, because it used to be if I gave myself 50 in all three categories, that meant I was only paying 250 extra towards debt because I was alternating it, but that may not be the case. I need to check, oh, I am doing 250, okay? So what I do with the, the 300, so extra debt, Chase will get 250. Now Alex has, oh, I said it and then I didn't finish writing. Alex has a cash envelope and she has a savings account. I will put anything above what goes into debt into Alex's savings. So let's say I, I budget for 300, let's say I get 340 or 390. Everything above what I'm paying towards debt goes into her special savings account, uh, which is not her uh, cash envelope. So that is what I do for that. And that is why whenever you have seen the second, I'm oh, sorry, you can see my phone stand. Whenever you see my second paycheck and I do have that extra income that it's never calculated in here because my extra income is solely for debt and for putting money in my daughter's savings slash college fund, whichever. So this is my paycheck. I'm very happy with where I'm going. That money right here, this is equal to the, the $90 extra. I used to decorate the note section and on the first paycheck, I will continue to do that because I don't need the extra space on the first paycheck because I have the two pages. But the second paycheck of the month in the Penny Pages Planner in the weeks, the Penny Pages Budget Weeks Planner, you don't get that second page. But she has a new B6 size, you guys. And I really want the new B6 size. It's spiral bound, which I don't really, I'm not really a spiral, I'm not really a coil planner but the new b6 size budget planner is a coiled planner but you have more space for things like this but i am not going to be wasteful i am going to continue to use this and this will be used because i started this in june of 2020 it'll go through june of 2021 i will use it in, for an entire year and then when i hit that year marker i will decide whether i continue to like this week size or if I want to upgrade into the B6 size. So that decision will not be made until May of 2021. So I have plenty of time to get it by the time I finish it up in June. So weeks planner, this is what I've got. I'm doing a great job of tracking. Oops. I'm honestly doing a great job of tracking my spending this month. I have done fantastic as far as no spending. No, you know, I there's I have some days of spending as we all do, but I'm doing great. All right, guys. Bye. We'll see you later.